So I wanted to do a, a little bit of a different video today and it's gonna be me preparing for tomorrow's job and tomorrow's job is very different because i have to change out a ceiling light an existing ceiling light to a motion sensor ceiling light i have to replace a kind of janky old like outdoor mailbox like the wall mounting mailbox to a dura box i have to replace two cabinet doors with broken hinges with new ones so i have to go find those and then um four check on a bathroom sink which has low water pressure and the um, single handle mixing valve is acting irregular so these are some of the things that i'm going to pick up not just for specific to this job but um because I'm running out of some anchors and screws and gloves, definitely. So I decided to make this uh, today's video a little interesting and also because I have no content to post for today because I really haven't been doing much else. Um, that it'll be kind of interesting to take you with me. And I also need to go to a um, small hardware store that I went to in Silver Lake. I need to return like $80 worth of plumbing things that was not useful for me or I didn't use for my old plumbing job. So hopefully I won't be able to do that as well. I'm starting the day at 2 p.m. So hopefully I'll still be open. But um, I kind of change it up a bit. I usually go to Home Depot for most things, but I think I'm gonna try to go to Lowe's first and then that local hardware store and then home depot for anything else i can't find and i want to preface to say that if you are doing this as like a side job like home repair stuff as a side job or you're working on task rabbit if you're doing jobs like per project you can actually get to the client's place and then if you need additional items that you don't just carry around with like the cost you sense and you actually need big supplies for the specific job you can expense your client you can ex bill them for the time that you took to go to the hardware store but my job is for tomorrow at 9 a.m i need a lot of these other tools um to just have in my tool bag for long term and i obviously am doing it because on my own time because i want to do well and I want to impress the client that I came very, very prepared. I'm obviously going to expense them for the hinges and stuff that I use specifically only for them and I don't get back. Um, but as far as my time to go to the hardware store and um, aside from doing the returns, which is only for me, like I don't mind doing that because I want to do this as my sole business, not just through the app. So please take that into consideration if you are working for TaskRabbit and you're watching this video and wondering why you have to do it on your own free time. You don't, you can actually build a client for it. But I'm doing it on my own free time because I want my business to be away from the app eventually in the future. So anyway, that's all I have to say. By the way, this is a ladder that I use. I'll leave it in my car. We are at our first spot, Lowe's. No line at Lowe's. Head down. Oh, that's so bad. We've decided to not buy anything at Lowe's because they don't have a lot of the things and the line is really long. So we're gonna go to Home Depot. Mess around. Yes. We're leaving Lowe's. So we are now heading to a Home Depot and I wanted to try out Lowe's because they had. They made a, a propaganda to say it. Propaganda that is good for my political stance. Alleged. Um, I didn't really do the back story on it, but I wanted to try out those anyway because I never go to those. So yeah, make a left. Yeah. But anyway, it was a it was a it was a it was a bust. Because they didn't even have the hinges. They didn't have like a different size kit for masonry bits, like, or I couldn't find it. It was just, I don't know. Hopefully Home Depot will have everything that we need. Pair of gloves, $3. Too bad I can't buy any more. 
since we're here. I only got 20. It's only 20 jobs. One sixty-five sixty. So now we are heading to the hardware store that I went to for a plumbing job a week or two ago. And I'm gonna return like $80 worth of stuff that I actually didn't use. Um, so that could, you know, be net of what I spent at Heart Home Depot just now. I'm gonna return a lot of it, but um, once I get home, I'll show you everything that I bought. At the lights. Final stop. This is mine. This is mine as well. So I'm gonna return these two floppers that I didn't need. A fill valve and another fill valve from Food Master. Nice little neighborhood. So I went to Baller Hardware in Silver Lake, which has pretty good service there. Um, but I returned $57.99 worth of toilet stuff. Now we are treating ourselves with some Chipotle. So Chipotle, you have to enter through the side door now and you, they have little stickers now for the social distancing markers. And um, what else was different? Well, you could order like regularly and just take it out. You can't sit in anymore. No sodas. No sodas. No forks, no knives, no napkins. I think they just prepare for you in there give it to you you can't serve yourself anymore but yeah easy peasy i'm glad they're back open or actually i think they were always open huh just for takeout but not order at the counter yeah they've been open so i finished eating my chipotle veggie burrito and i am feeling so lethargic like so sleepy but i wanted to show you exactly all the things that i purchased spent 165 dollars and 16 cents at home depot i didn't spend anything at lowe's and i got 60 oh 58 dollars back from the baller hardware the local hardware store so for tomorrow's job i got two actually four different kinds of hinges this is the Everbuilt Inset Frameless Hinge. I think this should fit on one of the cabinets, but just in case that doesn't, I have a similar one. It's the Full Overlay Frameless Hinge. And you can't really see it in the bag. I guess you can kind of see by this picture here. It looks like that. And then I got a half inch overlay face frame hinge and like the ends of it kind of look a little bit different um what different from this one which is kind of similar to the second picture that the client sent me of the other broken hinge cabinet so i got this one uh a three fourth inch overlay one and oh i think i got two of the same thing did i oh i didn't yeah i don't really know what the difference is uh, I have two half inch overlay, but if you look at the, oh, this is a soft close and this is just regular. So, I mean, I think I'll probably open them and then play around with them to see when I detach the old ones that he has to see which one is most similar. And then obviously whichever ones I'll use, I think I'm going to replace um, both hinges because I wouldn't have any use for the second one anyway. And that way, if a cabinet, another cabinet breaks for him, then he'll have an extra set of hinges to replace it out. I have to install a Durabox mailbox on, on Stucco. So I got a rotary drill bit set. There's three of them. This is for brick and block. There's a 1 8 3 16 and a quarter. So hopefully I can use this with my drill driver and drill into stucco. I got three of pretty much the same things. This is going to be the five piece Bosch Blue Granite Turbo. This one was $6.97 and this one was pretty pricey because I think they're like stronger. And I think this one was... $25 for the five piece. And then this one is a 14 piece one. 
um, but this was only $19.97. So I'm gonna see um, exactly what size the hardware that comes with the Durabox is, and then whichever one I need, I open to use, I'll keep. I'm not obviously gonna keep all three of them. I have a feeling this one's gonna be a little too thin, but I bought it just in case, because it was the cheaper one. Um, so I have three of those. And then I am almost out of the largest green drywall anchor and then the blue drywall anchor. And I wanted to buy the same pack again, like the same assortment, but they didn't have any more at Home Depot. So I ended up buying just the three combo, three color combo one um, with the blue, blue one and the white drywall anchor and the yellow one, which I have, and then some sturdy screws. So that was only $5.78, so really inexpensive. And then I'm also replacing a ceiling light for this client tomorrow with a motion sensor light. So I've always wanted to get one of these. This is from Klein Tools and basically it's a voltage tester. Even if you turn off the fuse, you might want to check um, if anything's still on just so you don't get electrocuted. And yeah, I always wanted one of these. so got myself one from Klein Tools um, and then I have wire cutters I've always wanted to get one of these I they had all kinds of different headlamps there but I just went with a pretty inexpensive husky one it comes with like the hazard light flashing light and the regular head lamp that I'm gonna use for the electrical job um, and it comes with batteries I'm excited about that and then lastly I got some gloves this was $3 for 25 pairs and I am so glad that I got the last one because I'm actually running out of the blue ones and then I was using the um, blue ones that we use for the kitchen but that is pretty much how I prepared for tomorrow's job anyway thanks for watching and I will see you on my next video